Hi guys, thanks for watching today's video. In today's video, I want to show you these affordable Trekology Z Trek poles. And these got me through the Montane Lakeland 50. The Montane Lakeland 50 is a 50 mile trail race in the Lake District with 10,000 foot worth of ascent and you get 24 hours to do it. I did it 10 years ago, I didn't have trekking poles. This time I wanted trekking poles. I couldn't have really justify buying um, running poles, which would be much more lighter than these. I have got um, Lecky and Black Diamond hiking poles, but they don't fold like the Z system like this, just because I prefer the other system. So if I'm Bibby or top camping, I can say up to just different levels. But I want to show you why I think you should be looking at these for your first set of trekking poles for 2022. So these retail at £27 on Amazon currently, um, and that is for a pair of trekking poles, which is really good. Now, for £27, I didn't expect much to it, so it did take me a little bit of time of research, looking into these before I purchased them, because even though they're cheap, it's no point buying something what's cheap, what doesn't work. Normally, I would buy the branded um, poles, but for, for this event, like I said, I didn't want to buy no running poles, because this would be my last um, ultra running event. So I want to show you why I think you guys should seriously be looking at these as one of the contenders for your first set of trekking or trail running poles. Now trail running poles run at around £100 plus and they tend to be much much lighter than these. So these would weigh 295 grams each where your trekking poles you'd be looking 295 grams easily for a pair. If you're looking for weight saving you would be looking at the running poles. However, with the running poles, they're set to a standard height. So for instance, I take 130 centimeter poles, which is great if that's all I'm doing, but if I'm doing um, some camping and you want to set your bivy at 120 centimeters, you can't actually do that with running poles because they, they are a full lock system and they lock straight into place. And obviously when you, you're trail running, um, they are set for that. And they tend to be much lighter material, um, lighter alloy or even carbon fiber. But for £27, you're not going to be getting that sort of weight. So if that's the sort of weight um, you're wanting, this isn't for you. But for all you other guys, keep watching. So in the box, you get the, the two sets of poles. Um, they do say they're cork um, pole. Unfortunately, it's a cork look. Um, but that didn't really matter to me. It's a, a nice grippy system. On the top of the um, grip there, you've got a nice um, grip for your hand. And lower down, if you're really wanting to get some leverage, you, you've got um, it goes all the way down to there. So it's based very much so like the the Lecky and the um, Black Diamond system. Obviously, um, the features on them other two brands are much much better. So inside the box, you get the um, snow gaiters. So if you're going on um, crispy snow and you don't want the pole to slide in, so if you're going to a mountain range and you're climbing up some steep mountains. Um, and you want to use these as leverage, it really helps. You get the two rubber bungs, you get the standard rubber bung. I, I never use this sort of system because they tend to come off in mud. And also you get this rocker system here. So this rocker system, again, I don't use these because I think with the rocker system, it can twist um, and again, get stuck in mud. So I tend to use the, um, the spike on the bottom. So I leave the, the rubber bungs off and use the spike on the bottom. Now, I will say, with these, you do get the um, mud clips on the bottom. On the event, I didn't actually use these mud clips, um, just to save um, weight when packaging. So when it packaged like that, it does stick out a little bit if you put the mud clips on. But if you don't want the poles to sink in a really sloppy mud, if you're in the peak district, um, definitely put these mud clips on the bottom. To set them up, obviously, you just pull them like that. So the, it's a bit floppy now, so what you need to do, just grab the bottom of this um, pole system here, pull it down, and you can hear it clip into place. Once it clips into place, it's a really solid system. So that can be weak points on um, folding poles, and to be fair, these would be nice and strong, super strong. So if you need to adjust these, so these adjust from 110 centimeters up to 135, I'm um, six foot two and I like my um, hiking poles and my running poles set at 130 centimeters. So what you do here, you've got this clip, just pull that clip out and you've got the, the height adjustment. So that's 130 and you pull it in. Now, this um, the clip here is aluminium and this clasp around it is just a hard plastic. I was a bit nervous whether um, it was going to break the hard plastic, but it has really stood up to um, <clears throat> what I needed it to do. And I, I tried it a few times at home before I used it. 
and I did a few test um, runs with these poles before I went to the Lake District because the last thing I wanted to do, get to the Lake District, get these poles out where I really needed them and, um, and went fail on me to be fair. But they've been super great and super um, lightweight for, for the money, I would say. Now, if you haven't used poles before, they are a bit strange at first to use and a lot of people think poles are just for um, older people, should I say. And I tell you something, if you've used poles on hikes, it makes it much, much more enjoyable and much, much more easy. Um, they, they are lightweight, they weigh nothing, they don't take much room in your pack. So if you guys are looking for your first time hiking pole um, and you don't want to spend a lot of money because you don't know whether you're going to enjoy them or not, I'd definitely be looking at the um, Trekology um, Z poles. And they're priced at the moment at £27. There is different places you can buy them from. I bought mine from um, Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below where I've actually bought mine from. But I hope you liked today's video. I just wanted to show you guys uh, my opinions on these poles and um, how impressed I've been for the money. Um, like I say, I, I was contemplating spending a little bit more on poles, but they definitely got me through the event and I probably wouldn't have um, got through the event without these. So like I say, you do get two in the pack. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel guys and check out my new videos. Thank you.